Um, there are young women who struggle with pornography. We've been so inundated with pornography that we're desensitized to pornography. They're not bothered by it and we're not bothered by it anymore. When I encounter young men or young women who are struggling with pornography, and I think one of our greatest mistakes is that we talk about pornography only in terms of young men. Um, there are young women who struggle with pornography, not in the same way, not in the same numbers, but, but it's real. Um, we live in a pornographic culture. And that's one of the things that makes it very difficult to deal with pornography. We've been so inundated with pornography that we're desensitized to pornography. And, and that line um, at which we will say that's pornographic um, has been drawn so far out into the realm of the inappropriate that we have people who dress pornographically um, and they're not bothered by it and we're not bothered by it anymore. So one thing that I say to people in this area is that we need to recognize that we are living in a pornographic culture. And the reason I say that is because part of dealing with the roots of pornography are acknowledging the fact that we have been desensitized to it and acknowledging the fact that my problem with pornography, let's say that there's a pornography scale of, of, of one to 10 and 10 is, you know, full on, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm engaging in, you know, the, the, the worst um, e examples and extremes of pornography. Um, well, I, I think culturally, we probably live every day around a three or four just in commercials and just in you know uh, and just just in the just in things that we become desensitized to and so if i'm living at a three or four and a five or a six really doesn't bother me anymore then when i get to a nine uh, my goal in dealing with somebody who's at a nine is not to say uh come back to a five or six my goal with them is to say, I want you to recognize not just that this is an issue, but that even those things that are down here in the areas that we're not even bothered by are issues. Not so that the person becomes, you know, just afraid of looking around, but so that the person becomes aware of their need for Christ to cleanse their minds not just of the website where I'm watching pornographic sex, but also of my lack of sensitivity to those everyday examples of pornography that are around me. Because to the degree that I go on accepting them and am no longer bothered by them, to that degree, I'm setting myself up so that the leap from that five to that nine is a very short leap. And it's not just so that I won't leap over into the worst of pornography, but it's so that I can understand the dignity inherent in human beings made in the image of God and how my embrace of a pornographic understanding of my fellow man, my fellow woman, is the embrace of the destruction of their dignity. So that if I see a young woman who is presenting herself in a pornographic way. And that's not bothering me. I've just said something about the dignity of that woman as made in the image of Christ. And until that becomes an issue for me, not in the sense of walking around, you know, sort of with my eyes, you know, blocked off, but in the sense of appropriating God's grace and asking him to, uh, to appropriate that grace in me, even at that level, um, and and, and t until I'm there, I'm not really dealing with this issue of pornography. And ultimately, when I, I come down to it, not only is it that, that issue of the, the inherent dignity and value of human beings made in the image of God, um, the, the not defrauding my brother and my sister, but also this idolatry of believing that it's okay to use another human being in order to gratify myself in any way, sexual or otherwise. So what I want to do, and I know it's a, that's a long way around, but what I want to do when dealing with this issue of pornography is I, I want to uproot and uncover all of that um, so that we can not just 
have this sort of legalistic response to, I'm not going to do that and I'm going to put things in place so that I don't do that anymore, but so that we have a response that goes all the way back to, um, you know, the, the cleansing of our minds to be able to appreciate one another as being made in the image of God and not just accepting this ordinary uh, pornographic predisposition that has become so normal.